Hey guys, thanks for checking out the video. It is super cold again today. So I'm bundled up, I'm in ski pants. And uh, what I'm doing today is I made a little boo-boo on the WRX and I gotta fix it. It's gonna drive me insane until I fix it. So I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So I can't believe that I did this, but I did. And it wasn't, it was a, it was a big accident and I tried to make it look a little better and it just doesn't work. So if you remember when I first installed the duckbill, I made a video and I was trying to get a bunch of cool shots of the duckbill. And I did one where right at the end of the video, I was doing like a, like a cinematic shot like this across the top and I dropped my freaking camera on my trunk and it took a chip of paint off and put a dent in it and I tried getting the dent out just a little bit by tapping on the underside um, with a rubber ended hammer and I got I got some of the dent out but the paint chip obviously isn't going anywhere I'm actually going to repaint the trunk and mold this to it what I mean by that is you can see, even though after I did my duckbill install and I changed the way that I had the tape running, you can still see how ugly that looks. It will not stick on the front side. I don't know if it's because I have double-sided or the, the 3M tape on the back side, if it won't let it lean forward enough. I don't know exactly what is causing it to do this because the initial test fit was fine. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat this sucker up as hot as I can get it so that the 3M tape will separate and uh, I have self-tap screws going through it. I'm gonna pull those off. And then we are going to essentially sand down the trunk, panel bond the spoiler on, put some, put some screws in while the panel bond is still setting. And then uh, we are going to mold with fiberglass and everything. We're gonna mold this thing onto the trunk and paint it. Now I want to keep some of the carbon on board. I don't wanna get rid of all the carbon because I think it'll look stupid. I, I'm, I'm glad I got a carbon spoiler. Uh, so I don't want to hide all the carbon, but when we do our body work, we're probably going to be at least up to here, I would say, with uh, probably primer or some filler, and we're probably going to end up being out to here with color. So the only thing I can think is maybe I'll run like some tape along the back edge and just leave this very back edge in carbon. Okay, here's a good time to show you that this spoiler had plenty of fitment issues long before I ever installed it. You can see here, it meets this gap perfectly. It lays on the backside almost flawlessly, but right here you can see this curvature isn't enough in the spoiler, so it lifts up right there and then closes the gap. This corner here is tight. And then as we go along the edge, look how big that gap gets in the center there. I can almost fit a finger through it. So even with me pushing down as hard as I can, it is never going to meet in the middle, which is why the tape looked like that and the tape wouldn't stick. So I have a couple of options uh, and then you can see it gets a little bit tighter here again. And it's not because of this dent because that dent was there after the fitment issues originally. Uh, this side actually clears just fine. Uh, it's a little tight right there actually. So it pushes up a hair there and a hair there. Everything else, fits pretty good on this thing. Um, the problem is this is the freaking spot that everybody sees. And so that was my big issue, but now I'm gonna fix it. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a line the entire way where the spoiler sits. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm about to lay the spoiler onto here. I'm going to panel bond it, lay it onto the trunk, and then I'm going to go ahead and put some more self-tappers back through the holes with a little bit of panel bond on the self-tappers. And then after I do that, I am going to tape it down like crazy, and I'm going to take it in the house so it can cure in the warm. Going around this whole thing with it like this. 
Just gonna be time consuming, that's all. Let's hope this fills in. There's a little bit of gaps left and everything and uh, we look good with this. So, sitting this on now. Now we can hopefully try and get some of this off. Like I said, whatever we can't, you know, it'll sand off. All right, guys, so now we have this entire thing has been panel bonded to the trunk and I can literally just pick the entire trunk up with the duck bill. It's not going anywhere. It's good to go. Uh, I apologize. It's very windy outside today. It's that time of year. So just dealing with it. It is freezing too. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take everything I just did here. I'm going to sand all this down with like maybe 80 and then 180. And then I'm gonna take some fiberglass filler and I'm gonna run a little layer of fiberglass filler all along the edge of everywhere that I put the panel bond. Then hopefully after I sand that down, it'll be smooth enough that I can just put one nice even coat of regular filler the whole way across the thing, block it down and be done. All right guys, I laid down the first coat. This is the fiberglass coat. And hopefully, like I said, it looks like I got pretty much everything filled in really nice. Um, it's, I deal with body filler and fiberglass every single day of my life. And uh, this is a little different. I've never done anything like this, so um, we'll see how it comes out. It did get a little rough here on the edges, trying to get it rounded out. Now the spoiler sits really high in, in uh, orientation to the trunk. You can see how it sits high. That is what I'm worried about molding and making it look not funny because I'd like it to be like a nice seamless transition into the trunk. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do, or into the spoiler from the trunk and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that. You might still see a bubble where the spoiler comes up. And I'm not super worried about that. Um, I would need a lot of filler to be able to do that. I don't know if this is hollow or solid. If I knew for a fact it was solid, I could sand this thing down and, and, and smooth it out with the filler, but it might not be solid. It might be a hollow piece. And if I find out the hard way, I'm gonna be in trouble and I'm gonna have to lay down fiberglass and resin and everything else. So that's what I'm rolling with for now. And I think I'm gonna let this dry, let this cure up, and then we'll put our, uh, our skim coat on. Hey guys, a little update for you. I had to take the trunk and put it back on the car last night. So as you can see, there's black primer on it. What I ended up doing was I had to put another coat on of regular filler after I did the fiberglass. And it went on pretty smooth on the back side. Not super smooth on the front side because it was starting to harden up, but I'm gonna block everything down today. And I'm hoping I can get this thing painted today. That would be sweet. guys it's the next day and my indoor settings won't allow you to see what's outside but you can get the idea how white it is <laughs> oh my god you can't see anything okay it's snowed outside uh so it's been like three days since i worked on this thing and uh basically the i put it in black primer after the gray so that i could take it out to a car meet i went to the night of so i primed it put black primer over it and took it out to a meet um, but anyways, you can see it's pretty much ready to go. Uh, I, did, I wasn't able to save a whole lot of the carbon, but I did leave a stripe right across the top, which will look good when we're done, hopefully. 
Um, but so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna block all the primer down with 500 grit sandpaper, and then we're gonna paint this thing. So once uh, once we, we block this whole thing down, it should come out pretty good, I'm hoping. So can't wait to see the final product. guys it's got dirt in it we're in the garage so obviously it's gonna have a little bit of dirt in it but I mean the thing looks pretty good you can see the carbon strip that it left up on top backside looks pretty good there's like a little dimple in here somewhere that I wasn't crazy about but it's one little dimple and you really can't see it but there you can see the finished product the uh, duck bill has been molded onto the trunk all right guys, well this might not be the best conclusion video out there. It's getting dark, um, but I just got home from work and just wanted to show you what it looks like on the car. I might have to re-clear coat it. Um, the color match is about 90%, but it's still a little bit off. So I might have to alter the color just a little bit, lighten it up. And um, But anyways, it's done. It looks good, it just dulled out a little bit because it sat in the garage and all the overspray um, didn't really escape and it landed on the top. So the top dulled out. Um, but it is what it is, you know, I'll redo it uh, Now that I see the final product, I like it. It looks good, but I'm still not super crazy about Long term if I'll keep it or not if I if I end up getting bored with it I'm either gonna get the uh, The carbon trunk or I'll end up getting just a regular trunk with a STI spoiler or something So anyways, I'm gonna shut up and show you what it looks like Well guys, that's going to conclude the video. There's a few things that I don't like about it. Number one being, I wish I would have smoothed this out just a little bit more, but there's not much I could have done. Um, you know, if I would, I would have had to layer on so much filler to get this to smooth out. I'm not even that worried about that. Um, just the top looks kind of ugly. So for now, I'm going to wet sand and buff the entire thing and, uh, you know, get rid of that dullness. And I'm just going to let it be for now. And, uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll ride with it for a while till probably car show season and then I might replace it. So we'll see. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching. Thanks for checking out the video and I'll see you in the next one.